Hey guys, I'm out here uh, putting the new version of VCar Pro out here on my shop computer. Uh, I purchased it, I don't know, a week or so ago, I guess, and this is the first chance I've got to get out in my shop and get it installed on my shop computer here. But uh, they made a lot of, uh, uh, when I say the new version, I, I was still using 6.5. They've been on 7 for a while, and I think now, now this is uh, 7.5. Um, and they made a lot of nice improvements, uh, some in the drawing functions. Uh, so for those of you who are uh, just getting into CNC and uh, thinking about a CAD program, you know, like I said, you can probably use some of the drawing things right here in this VCAR Pro. Uh, so they've made uh, some good improvements there. Uh, you even have where you can put dimensions on your drawing now when you put something in there. So that's, that's really nice. Okay, also another thing that uh, the VCAR Pro will now do, it will allow you to import SketchUp files. So, uh, you know, I mentioned before, that's uh, uh, something free you can get, uh, free download uh, from Google, or I think somebody else bought them out now. But uh, anyways, you can still get the free download and, and uh, do 3D work with SketchUp, and now you can import those files into uh, VCAR Pro as well. So that's another... Uh, Another nice feature that they've added to the, the newer version. Uh, but also, uh, just want to take a minute to uh, see how everybody's doing on their CNC build. I've sent out a whole bunch of plans, uh, and I've got three or four guys that have sent me pictures. I'm really surprised I thought I would have more pictures uh, being sent to me than that. But, uh, you know, if you got uh, got your CNC build uh, just about complete, take a picture and shoot it to me. I'd love to see it. See how you're coming along. Uh, I'm going to be doing another CNC build here and uh, probably start it this next weekend. I've got to get some uh, parts ordered and things. And uh, you might remember I told you the uh, the other machine that I built, uh, I gave it to a friend of mine. And uh, he's enjoying that. He's, he's brand new at this and he's enjoying the getting into the CNC. But uh, also he... he you know, has told me that he would really rather have a, a machine built more like the footprint of, of like mine, where it's wider in the X direction and narrower in the uh, Y direction. So I'm going to try to do another CNC build, and I'm going to kind of make it kind of based around uh, mine here. Uh, you know, again, this one will be out of some birch plywood. Uh, see if how uh, inexpensive I can make it, but. Uh, going to make one of those and uh, once I get it built uh, I'll swap it out with Jim and get that other one back and I don't know what I'll do with it maybe uh, maybe donate it to a to a school or something I don't know if they have any uh, kind of shop classes or anything like that in high schools around here or not I'll, I'll check into that and find out uh, but anyway just want to talk about that for another minute. thing that's going to be different about this uh, next CNC build that I uh, do is I'm actually going to put some uh, some limit switches and a uh, an e-stop on this one. I've never put those on one before uh, and I was talking to uh, Jeff at Xylotex the other day and he, he uh, was kind enough to send me a, a little breakout board uh, with a, an e-stop and some limit switches so I'm going to install those on the next build and uh, I'll show you all how to do that in case you're wanting to uh, add those to your machine. just wanted to uh, also say uh, appreciate all my new subscribers. Man, I've just got a, a ton of new subscribers. I think I'm up over uh, 5,200 now if I remember correctly. So, so getting a lot of new subscribers. I certainly appreciate that. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do. Uh, hit, the, uh, hit the like button down below too if you like what you're seeing in these videos. And uh, continue to get uh, notifications every time I put a new one up so uh, I appreciate all that and uh, I guess until the next video which will probably be uh, next weekend uh, I guess we'll talk to you next time thank you